honestly, get some more reactor power. That way I can keep stuff powered up a little bit more. Could get some more engine power. We're going to need the reactor power anyway, so I, I do not feel bad at all about getting it right now. Anti-bio beam goes offline. First laser online. Auto fire. Fire drone on the left, beam drone on the, well, left now. They have five shots coming in at me, but with a 48% evasion chance, kind of puts it in my favor, I think, because on average you're expected to dodge every other shot. And five shots is not enough to really pierce the shields, if in that case. Shot down the fire drones, very unnecessary, but it's okay. They can't do any damage to me, so I really don't care if some of our shots get wasted. There we go. It's so nice having the same weapons, too. I know I didn't really touch on that fact, but just being able to set up an auto-fire and letting it go is so nice. We are going to secure fuel, and we can actually surprisingly, kill the ship pretty easily here, and that is exactly what we are going to do. Might as well keep the shields powered up. I think we can keep ourselves safe from any damage, especially if we can land in the first shots and take out their weapon systems. We could take damage if the laser charger fires first and then their heavy laser, but the heavy laser is going to take about 14-15 seconds to fire. We can get the first shot off and take it offline, no problem. We have two crew members, they're trying to get into the oxygen room. Might as well send in the mantis... You know, I might as well hold off on the Mantis for a second. I'll send the human into the O2 room to keep it occupied for a second, but we'll hold off on sending anyone else in. Okay, anti-biobeam needs to come out now. Shields can stay powered up. Have the shield personnel come in and fight, actually, instead of the uh, Mantis, but they left. Which means, Jones, you might as well go to the med bay, dog. Which means that they're going to go into the med bay. When they get into the med bay, we'd kill them with the anti bio beam. One of them was a rock man, so we definitely need that anti bio beam going out. FTL's delayed because there's only two crew members left aboard their ship, I believe. All we need to do is wait to see what gets repaired, and then we'll know where their crew is. And their crew is in the weapons room. Potentially also the med base. So you know what? Why don't we do something like this? Let's wait for that anti bio beam again. FTL is still delayed. Don't even need to wait for something to get repaired, I think. I think we just go. Go and attack the med bay. And we get six fuel and 55 scrap. We are rolling in fuel right now, which I love. And with 178 scrap, we're so close to getting the next bar of shields, I think we just get the next bar of shields. We save scrap, buy it in one or two jumps, as soon as we find the next bit of combat, be done with it. In fact, let's go to the Distress Beacon, why not? Promise to help, use the NG, we get a lot of scrap out of that encounter. Increased by the Scrap Recovery Arm, boom. Even get a little bit of extra reactor power so we can keep those shields going. And there is a store at the end of the sector that's really good because we can... You know what? Screw the Great Eye. Get out of here, bro. I don't want to see you ever again. There's a store at the end of the sector. We can go to there just before the exit and buy whatever we need. Now, I could potentially use a hacking drone here. Problem is that defense drone will shoot it down or... It, let me phrase it differently. It will shoot it. You know what? Let me phrase it differently. It will shoot at it. It might shoot it and hit it, and it might destroy it and shoot it down, but uh, it will shoot at it, potentially wasting a drone part. And with one missile, with us being going being with us going to a store in the near future, I'm not really that worried about it. I'm just going to auto-fire in their weapon system and kill them in a minute anyways. They're not boarding me. And as soon as their weapons go offline, I can switch over to the anti-bio beam maybe, like right now. Their crew is getting stuff repaired, but I, I think I can try to kill their crew anyways. It is an Artemis, so it, it is going to take a couple of points of repair before it gets uh, slightly fixed. We can do something like this. Killed one of the crew members, wounded the other one. Looks like a first level medbay. 
Let's hit him in the mid bay. Started a fire. Oh, that's so good. It's going to keep him busy. It's going to keep him locked in there. And one anti-bio beam will kill the guy who's already wounded. Yep. There he goes. He is not even worrying about the fire anymore. He has 17 HP. One more burst laser shot will kill him. And we get... 59 scrap. I thought that was a surrender offer for a second, so I didn't want to smash on the one key. I've done that in the past and been regretful of it. Not reading what was happening. 89 scrap. You know what, if we're gonna go to that store, let's save scrap. We have two more system slots. We can get a cloak, we can get a defense drone, we can get a backup battery, which doesn't count as a system slot, but that's okay. Where are you going, dog? Engines, not a problem. Even the fact, even though they have that bur that um, Ion Mark II, I'm not worried because they have such bad weaponry ev for everything else. One beam, one laser, they're going to have to land five Ions in a row before they can even start to think about doing damage to me. And that still requires them to fire the heavy laser in first and then the beam second immediately. So I was not concerned in the slightest. Man, that scrap recovery arm. Getting one so early is so good. Okay, same thing we did before. Missile, annoying, but I, I don't want to hack when they have that anti-drone. 48% chance of dodge. One damage missile. Weapons offline. They still have a bomb, but I'm not worried about that. So we're going to switch over to the anti-bio beam. We're going to try the same thing we did last time. Hit them in the weapons, anti-bio beam them, kill one of their crew members, go from there. So we'll wait for a second. Do it like so. We kill the second crew member. Why didn't why do we always kill that guy? How does that work? This happened on the last encounter as well. I'm not entirely sure why we ended up killing the crew member in the engine room. Is it because of timing? Like, the anti-bio beam, does it hit the first square, do damage to him, and then hit the second square, and then continue to do damage to him? That has to be it. That's really weird. I'm, I'm glad that it's happening. It's just a weird, like, effect of the game that you normally wouldn't expect. I'm going to fire the burst lasers on the medbay, keep him locked in, maybe start a fire like we did before. No, but that's okay. With 17 HP, he's going to die very quickly on the next shots. Even if he gets the medbay partially repaired, doesn't matter to me. They do have the missile launcher online, so I do want to kind of fire on the weapons room a little bit more. There we go. There's a fire. He's going to try to put out the, uh, or repair, excuse me, the medbay. He's not going to succeed, though. They don't have a clone base, so I can fire in all my shots like this. And we get a fire beam. That's actually a really good weapon to have. Might actually be better than the anti-bio beam. Fires a little bit more slowly, but the fires that it start might be better. At the very least, for the Rebel flagship fight, it might be... It's worth considering using the fire beam instead of the anti-bio beam, because you can start fires in the shield room, lock the doors... The enemy can't move around, they can't put out the fire, the fire is going to destroy the shield system for you. We'll consider it. We have a couple of jumps before we go to the store. We're going to sell one of the anti-bio beam or fire beam. Because we don't need both. Definitely don't need both. Okay, just keep getting more free scrap. Might as well go to one beacon before the store, because we can. And we're done. Okay. 207 scrap. Drone control with the defense drone and mind control and another scrap recovery arm and a distraction buoy. Interesting. We, we're not going to use missiles. Why are we not going to use the breaching missile? Other than the fact that it's a missile, other than the fact it takes 22 seconds to, to charge, you know, the missile because on the second phase of Rebel Flagship it's going to be worthless. It takes three power. We have one, two, three, four, five, six weapons that take two weapon power, which means that we can use all eight weapon power. We're not going to use the breaching missile. Will we use mind control? 
on the first and second phase of the Rebel Flagship fight, it could be really useful to have. Stop the enemy from doing any repairs, kill their crew slightly, and defense against the third phase mind control. Really good. Really good. And the drone control for defense is also really good. I, I do like the cloak, though. Usually don't get cloak. We have two open weapon slots. I think we get cloak and mind control because we can afford it. Scrap recovery arm as well might be nice to give us a little bit of extra scrap between then. Uh, uh, now and the end of the game. This is only sector six, right? Yeah, I think it is still worth it to get a second scrap recovery arm, and it does stack with the first one. With the cloak, that might actually be better missile defense against the Rebel Flagship because you can cloak out of all three missiles when they come in. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So, we are going to sell... What are we going to sell? What are we going to sell? What are we going to sell? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 shots, 11 shots. Fire beam. Fire beam. What would you do? What would you rather have on your Rebel Flagship fight? Would you rather have an anti-bio beam, allowing you to target individual crew members and kill them if they are at 60 HP or lower? Useful. Useful because on future phases of the fights, those crew members will be dead. They are not going to be able to get repairs done. Would you rather have a fire beam, allowing you to create multiple fires aboard the enemy ship? With the hacking drone part, you can hack a room, like the shield room, start a whole bunch of fires, they can't put out the fires, they're going to spread, they're going to kill crew on their own, but not quite as quickly. Also allows you potentially to, to destroy the shield room without actually having to do hull damage to the shield room, because the fire beam will do it for you. Or would you straight up rather have two more laser shots, being able to send in 11 total shots instead of 9 total shots. It's a little bit of extra, it's it's not that much extra output when you think about it, but those 9 shots, at least 4 of those will be hitting shields, so that's, you're down to 5. So it's not a difference between 9 and 11, it's a difference of 5 potential damage to the Rebel Flagship versus 7 pot potential damage to the Rebel Flagship. Maybe even greater than that if they have, you know, X percent chance to dodge. You can calculate out on average how much additional damage you'll be doing with the burst laser. I feel like having a support weapon is more important and I feel like the fire beam is the best support weapon with the loadout we have with the fire capabilities of the hacking especially if we buy the mind control because we can mind control a crew member with a fire under him and then they can't put out they can't put out the fire they can't attack the crew member without hurting themselves. It's an easy way of just destroying those rebel flagships. So we're going to sell the anti-bio beam, we're going to sell the burst laser, we're going to use the fire beam from now on. Yeah, I like it. I really like the fire beam with the hacking and mind control. And we are going to buy mind control, we are going to buy cloak, yes. We're going to buy the scrap recovery arm as well, yes. This is good. This is good. We're not going to use all of these systems right now but we have them for later. We have all of Sector 7 to dump scrap into them because we already have four bars of shields. I'm not going to sell drone parts. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to abuse hacking on Sector 7 and I'm not going to use drone parts. We can go to the Mantis Homeworlds and as a result, maybe get Kazakh. I do need one more sensor upgrade, but you know what? Screw it. Let's get the sensor upgraded to level 3 and find Kazakh. Distress Beacon first, sure. I will give you fuel, you will upgrade my reactor. I appreciate it, that's like 35 scrap. And the fuel only cost about 12 scrap, I think. All right, let's abuse our position right now. Let's hack them, let's hack them in there. Let's hack them in their weapons room because I don't want to take hull damage if I can avoid it. This should allow me to kill their weapons pretty easily get my crew 
in a position where we can start uh, attacking these mantis as soon as they bust down the door, which will be in just a second. Uh, get the hack done. Burst laser's ready to go. Auto fire, basically. All right, not quite. We did take out the small missile launcher, which is ideally enough. Because now we can theoretically attack the attack it again and take out the big missile launcher. Yep, the hack gave us the time that we needed to make that work. All right, we do need to get the fire beam back online now, or turn it online for the first time, I suppose. Get the mind control active. Have them kill each other for a little bit. Excellent. Their clone bay needs to get taken out now. There it goes. So now, now any crew that's dead is going to be dead forever. Uh, NG, go put out the fire, please. In fact, everyone go back to your room except for the NG. Go put out the fire. Fire beam is good to go. And let's start some nasty fires. It is. It, it does take a little bit longer to kill ships. Not only does the fire beam take a little bit longer to fire than the uh, the um, oh my god, what is it called? Anti bio beam. <laughs> but uh, you also have to wait for the enemy to actually burn to death. He's gonna try to walk all the way over there. He made it. He has one HP. I'm sorry. We're gonna get hit by another solar flare. It's okay. One point of hull damage. Not that bad. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't kill the crew. E even though we did kill the crew, the fire actually destroyed the ship because they had no hull integrity remaining. If I had waited a second more, I could have probably used the fire beam to uh, finish them off. I didn't. That's okay. It's a solar flare. It's gonna... Throw a wrench in your plans occasionally. Everyone go back to your rooms, please. Turn on the oxygen, might as well. Don't worry, I'm getting out of here. Let's go to the distress beacon. I actually do want to try to find Kazak. It would be a good pickup. Destroy the ship, they're just pirates. Let's get the uh, sensors. Let's get the... Mind control. Uh, finish upgrading the reactor, why not? Nothing. There's a store. We could go to the store. We don't have very much scrap, but that's okay. Two burst lasers plus a halberd beam. Kind of feel like at this point we do want to hack them. And I actually want to hack them in shields now. I just realized we should be hacking in shields. Why? We have a cloak. We have a freaking cloak. So we can cloak out of the first enemy shots and then... Fire everything we have at their sh at their uh, weapons after the the uh, cloak or uh, the mind control no mind hack there we go words systems look gets confusing sometimes all right they're attacking me again in the same room they were in before I might not be able to kill them completely but that's okay or kill them uh, before they escape you guys swap positions. Start the hack, might as well. Cloak. This feels unnecessary. I should have hacked them as soon as the thing landed, but that's okay. Take out their weapons, take out their med bay. Good, started a big ass fire. Get that fire beam online. Get the mind control active. Mind control one of the crew members in the weapons room that's on fire. Uh, you guys go into the med bay, please. Fire in the weapons room that can get put out super quickly. Let's start some fires in the med bay. Keep them busy for a while. You should go on your station, please. Just one mantis left. You know what? Kill him as quickly as we can. Uh, our shots missed. That's okay. Hack him in shields. Probably shouldn't have even really tried that, but that's okay. He's trying to put out the fires. There's no nowhere for him to go. 
I'm sorry. We get 69 scrap. That's a lot of scrap. How much was that? 79 after the uh, scrap recovery arms? I wasn't paying attention. I should have been. Definitely should have been. But yeah, you know what? Thinking about it, we don't need to worry so much about hacking weapons or hacking shields. We can hack immediately, cloak out of the first shots, and then be done with it, basically. Kill them super quickly. Don't want distraction buoys. I'm not even sure it works on Sector 8, because as soon as you jump into Sector 8, some of the beacons start turning red. And theoretically, if distraction buoys worked, it would mean that they don't turn red immediately. So I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, hack them in shields. Hack them immediately. Get the, uh, get the fire beam ready to go immediately? No, just hack them in shields. Take out their weapons first. Start the hack process. Ooh, you're going into the med bay. Good for me, bad for you. Missile coming in. That's the only thing that we need to worry about cloaking out of, so we'll cloak after we fire in our shots. Uh, med bay needs to get powered up, please. Something I'm forgetting. So you know what? We'll have you guys swap positions for a split second. This is good. This is good. Ah, uh, you know what? Fire everything on weapons. Then cloak. They still have bombs active, but bombs aren't that much of a problem. Uh, oh, they have the uh, missile launcher on So you know what? Burst laser it up. Mind control the uh, people putting out the fire. Get the fire beam online. Mind control's crew member is dead. They have a really strong med bay. Holy crap, that's a level three med bay. However, they boarded me, so that's probably not the right decision. But yeah, that's a level three freaking med bay. Holy cow. We're gonna have to deal with that. Deal with it with fire. Yes, excellent. Burn them out. Mind control. Mind control the uh, mantis. Kill the NG in the engine room. Kill the mantis in the engine room. Start some more fires. Actually, didn't start any fires, unfortunately. Yeah, whatever. Actually, you know what? We can hack their shields down. And they're dead. 49 scrap plus another 24 that got up to 28, and then they died anyways because of the fire. That's okay. 165 scrap. Not enough to upgrade the weapons, and honestly, I feel like that's the next thing we should do. Definitely the next thing we should do. Upgrade those weapons. And you know what? Go to as many beacons as possible. We have six engine power. We have a cloak. We can easily, easily, easily get out of the uh, Rebel fleet. So why don't we do it? Why don't we? Don't need a hack. We can cloak out of, I guess, like a couple of these ion shots or something. I don't know. I don't really know what to cloak out of. There's nothing. They can't really hurt me unless they hit with a lot of stuff. Like, the biggest issue is just the mind control that they're doing, but we can cancel that pretty easily. So I guess we just fire in on their, like, shields? Uh, we should take out the ion weapons. That ion damage is going to stack up. There we go. Next shot should kill them. Mind control system was destroyed. I think an asteroid took that out. With 208 scrap, I think we do upgrade the weapon system. Get that fire beam going. Because not being able to use it is kind of an annoying. That we have to kind of micro the power. Take the burst laser offline to use the fire beam. I'd rather just have them both online. So why not? Why don't we do that? We can. It's Kazak! Hail him! Now we have to kill the crew. We're gonna do that by attacking their weapons room first because it's in the middle of their ship. As much as I would like to attack shields first, I think we have to attack weapons first. 
All right, we're gonna send the Mantis and the Human and the Rockman and the MG. I'm not, I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really worried so much about the actual damage to the weapons room, but I think we have to hack it first. Because their lasers don't really bother me all that much. The bomb doesn't bother me all that much. It's the, it's the fact that it's such centralized location, it's too good to pass up. Mantis is doing a lot of damage. There we go. Everyone get into the med bay, please. Mind control each other and kill each other if we can. Yeah, there we go. And there go the shields, so now the fire beam can just eat them up. Shouldn't need to do any more hull damage, unless they get something repaired. But I can always just mind control them as they're repairing stuff and keep them busy. Bomb on a miss, so never mind. Don't repair the shields, please. Yeah, because the, the, the hack, it just does such a good job at keeping them isolated. Stopping them from being able to move freely. And he's going to die in a second. Sensors, quickly scan their ship, advance med bay, bring them to the med bay. You leave the quest for another day, but we get 64 scrap plus mantis pheromones plus kazak. Kazak. He's going to be our freaking best uh, attacker or anti-border. Great stuff, great stuff. Keep moving, 94 scrap. What do we upgrade next? Engines? Maybe I should have gone to a store because I might have been able to pick up a... Uh, might have been able to pick up like a... Uh, you know what, these are the mantises. What am I saying? I might have been able to pick up something like a uh, backup battery, which would have, would have been really nice. Is he dead? He's dead. Kasak, you gonna help us? There we go. Easy peasy. There might be a store on the next sector, but... That's like the only thing that we're missing, is just some extra reactor power, because we have so many good systems that we can't use everything. And we're going to have a lot of scrap on the next sector. We definitely are. Now, Defense Drone Mark II will almost certainly be able to shoot down... Oh, Defense Drone Mark II and Mark I. Yeah, they're going to be able to shoot down our... Uh, our burst lasers and the fire beams, probably. They're going to be able to shoot down the hack. So, I think what we do is... We wait for them to fire the missile, we cloak, we wait for the fire beam to go online? No, we can fire first. We can fire, like, one... One uh, shot in at them. We're gonna cloak out of this, by the way. I wanna wait for my weapons to fire. We're gonna also mind control the pilot so our shots land. Good. Took out the missile, started a fire. Now, the next time the burst lasers are ready to go, we're go going to also have the fire beam. And now we can attack their med bay. And start a whole bunch of fires like so. I do I wanna start a whole bunch of fires like med bay piloting. Good. Piloting being on fire means it's not gonna get put out. Their FTL is gonna be permanently delayed. We will not accept surrender. We we will be able to cloak out of the missile if we have to. Oh, I forgot. Right, they have uh, defense drones, so we're going to have to fire in a bunch of shots here. It's okay. I imagine we're going to be just killing the ship here. There's so many fires aboard their ship. The fact that they have the defense drones makes it a little bit awkward to actually uh, not do enough hull damage that they die. So yeah, we're just going to kill them. It's just a simple rebel ship. I'm not too upset about it. With 150 scrap, I think we do upgrade the engines a little bit more, plus mind control and cloak. Why the engines? So that it, when we uh, go through the rebel fleet in one jump, we can actually do it with a little bit more reactor power. So that it uh, charges a little bit faster. 
you know, six engine power is enough that you can get out before the ASB lands, but oftentimes you don't. Oftentimes you actually do need a little bit more. So that's what this is. It's just a little bit more. Uh, that's annoying. So... Just mind control him for a bit. All right, they're going to attack me in the med bay. That's fine. We're gonna cloak out of the flak two. Unless we can just jump away, and we're just gonna jump away. Still have some invaders. It's not a problem. We get 10 fuel and 10 hull points repaired. Jones, you can get out of there. Mantises, get out of there. And we'll go back to your rooms. Now, if we find a store, we gotta buy a back battery if we can. That's the only thing that we can really get that we don't have, that we could use, that we need. Otherwise, we're fine. We're, we are going to absolutely wreck the Ripple flagship when we find it. Stop boarding me in the sensors. I, it takes a long time to get my crew over there, you jerks. Ugh. Hold on. Get out of there. Mind control that guy. Oh, whatever. 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 Can we kill him before he, they can, like, retreat? That'd be nice. Uh, do we use hacking parts? No. We don't really need to, do we? The beam's not going to do anything because we have too many shield integrity, and as long as we dodge a single shot, the laser can't do anything either. So I think we're fine. So I think we just go in on their weapons with the first shot. If we get lucky, we take something offline. If we don't, doesn't matter. We'll still be fine. Okay, one of the crew members is dead. Where's their other one going? Other one is going into the oxygen room. Not a problem. Should have probably cloaked there, honestly. Okay, attack there. These rooms. Start some fires. Good, two fires in the med bay. Nice. That's what I want to see. Two fires in the med bay means that they will not be able to put it out before I get my mind control back. And when that happens. They're not in for a good thing. In fact, let's double mind control. Keep him out of there. Kind of wish he would have stayed in the room, but that's okay. Start some more fires. Shield room. Oxygen room. Let me just wait. Attacking the mind control unit. They're going to try to board me, maybe? Look like they may have been trying to board me for a split second there. Oh, uh, there's almost every square of the ship on fire. Can we do it? Yes, every square of the ship is on fire. Oh, you are screwed. We get 91 plus 34 scrap. We got 100 and, what, 25 scrap from that encounter? Jesus, that is good. That's so good, in fact. It's gonna up, Ooh, look for a store. There's not a store. I'm just gonna upgrade one thing. You know what? No. Let's save scrap. Maybe we'll be very lucky and actually find a store. If not, we don't. Whatever. Prepare to fight the rebels? Sure. Uh, super shield. This is actually a good time to get in a hack. They don't have any defense drones. We can get it in before the super shield actually happens. We can start the hack now. They'll only have one bar of super shield integrity. And we can also uh, mind control them before we fire as well. So right about now. Now we fire in on their shields and med bay. Do a lot of damage. They have a Vulcan. I'll worry about the Vulcan in a minute. Right about now, in fact. Start fire like so. Should have maybe started the, not fired in so many shots, but that's okay. 
They are going to get their medbay back online, unfortunately. Yeah, unless we can kill some of their crew. Then start some more fires, like so. Yes, started a fire in the med bay, started a fire in the drone room, so that drone will be destroyed eventually, or it, it'll go offline eventually. Their ship will be destroyed though, because they have so many fires. Can't mind control. Let's destroy them. Unfortunately, I did way too much damage. That's okay. We get 66 scrap, no store. So, why don't we jump? Well, we've got to make it to the base. Let's go to the repair beacon now. We're not going to actually repair, but we will get some drone parts and such. Plus a little bit of scrap. And then we can continue on. Upgrade the cloak, upgrade the mind control, and keep going, I suppose. We've almost got everything leveled up to max, which is a lovely feeling. And you know what? Let's try hacking them. We have 21 drone parts. Getting in one hack might be uh, kind of nice, might make this encounter a little bit easier. It might not destroy the part, it might just temporarily ionize it. It landed. Let's not worry about the hack since we're about to fire right now. You know what? No, let's worry about the hack right now. Maybe we can hack and then fire beam. We can. Excellent. Take out those. Take out that, no, uh, what do we take out? Take out the weapons, shields, and med bay. Start a whole bunch of fires. Mind control the shield personnel. He walked into the engine room and he's attacking a crew member. Hey, if he's attacking a crew member, that's all I really care about. Let's be honest. Super Shield doesn't bother me at all, really. Start some fires, like so. That's really bad fires, but that's okay. They're trying to walk through the ship. They can't because of the fires. Might as well hack their shields down. Who's left? Just the guy in the engine room? We can start a fire under his butt. It's already spread down there. Excellent. Repair drone trying to put out the fire. It might be able to put out the fire, it's very good at it, but it will go offline eventually because there is a fire in the drone control room. They put it out. We get a Hull Smasher laser, which honestly is better than the Burst Laser Mark I, but not better than the Burst Lasers. I like the fact that they fire at the same time. We have more shots even though they don't breach. We're fine, we're fine. Uh, let's... I think we should attack the Rebel Flagship right now, because if we have to leave due to a bad hack, we can. So why don't we do that? Why don't we attack them right now? If we get hacked in the weapons room or the shield room, we can leave. Keep the FTL drive charging. The hack doesn't cloak. Yo, that is okay. We only need to cloak out of the enemy missiles, and if we have to rely on the 55% dodge chance, we have to rely on the 55% dodge chance. We can always go to repair beacon later. Okay, let's get our hack in. Keep the engine power up. Start the hack. We can cloak, so why don't we do that? We only need to cloak for uh, five seconds, so I'm not going to do a full cloak. We need to fire. We need to fire now. Fire now. I want to make sure I get a lot of damage done while they are not cloaking, because when they cloak, I can't do anything. Now, their shields are completely down, so this is like the perfect time to start in with the fires. And we're going to start fires in their piloting room, in their missile launcher room. Good. We are going to mind control. Good. And I guess we're, we're gonna turn off the burst lasers. <laughs> we're gonna turn off a couple of the burst lasers, get the uh, dodge chance up to max. 
Keep ourselves safe for a minute, because they are dead. They are so dead. Get the shields up a little bit. Hopefully the missile launchers goes off go, goes offline before they fire again. It did not, but we can cloak. Barely. Excellent. Okay, what do we do? Um, we fire on them. Where? We fire on their... I don't know. Missile launcher's dead. They're trying to get into the shield room. Let's let them. Lock it down. Let's start some fires in the med bay, why don't we? Actually, we'll wait a, a split second for them to walk into the med bay. Then we'll fire at the med bay. And start fires in the med bay. Here we go. Now, we ideally want to keep one of their crew members alive in the center section of their ship, so I am going to de-hack them. I'm going to turn off the, uh, the power to the hacking system, allow them to walk freely throughout their ship, stay alive, because I want them to stay alive right now. I do not want all of their crew to die. So right now, we just have to kill them as quickly as we can, and we are going to do that by attacking their ion system, because it's out of the way. Good. Took no damage, killed them very easily. We do not have everything upgraded, so you know what? Let's try to get everything upgraded. Let's go to one more beacon. Investigate. Communicate peacefully. Continue. Okay. What should we upgrade? Probably piloting or doors. We're going to be attacked by boarding drones. We have second level oxygen. If they board us in piloting, this will allow us to get more dodge chance if it's unmanned, but we'll always, always have someone manning the room. So I think we actually get doors, maybe. Ah, we'll get piloting. It's kind of a hard call because I don't really know what to get. We don't need anything, but we'll get the piloting upgrade. Now, they will potentially shoot down my drone. That's okay. We'll power it up to level one and send it in. And if it lands, it lands. It landed. Okay. I wasn't expecting it to happen on the first try, but it did. So, we will not fire the weapons. We will instead hack. We will be able to... We will be able to take out... Yeah, that's what I was worried about. A hack or a, a boarding drone in the piloting system. But we can deal with it. Uh, if they... If they... <laughs> We hack their shields. The shields will go down. We'll attack the uh, missile launcher. We'll destroy it before it has a chance to fire. I want to make sure it's offline, so I'm going to send two shots at it. Started a fire in it. Um, let's wait before we do anything else. As much as I would like to use the fire beam, it's just going to not do anything. All right, you guys have done your job. You guys get in there and finish the repairs. Now we can use the fire beam like so. Start a couple of fires. It's not really that big, but it's okay. Okay, now that they've walked into the room, we mind control them. I think we cloak as well because of the drones. We don't need to fire our weapons. This will keep us safe. They will slowly kill themselves. I can power up the shields a little bit more. We do have a drone coming at us really quickly. Not really quickly, but it'll it'll come in in a minute. It's going to board us. So I'm going to send everyone back to their rooms except for the mantises who are going to heal up. One of the crew members is dead. Don't need to hack the shields anymore, so let's depower it completely. We can power up our systems. Still cloaked. Still cloaked. Kind of relying on this still cloaked thing happening here. We are still cloaked. Take out the laser, take out the drone, take out the drones. And the laser. We'll fire beam the uh, drone system. Okay, so that boarding drone it out is no longer boarding. Get the shields up because we are going to need shield power. Burst laser can fire, fire on drones. Easy. No damage still. I'm liking it. And we can go to one more beacon. Let's do it. I mean, why not, basically, at this point? We will intervene to defend the outpost, and they're going to attack us. 
Uh, probably you don't want to do that. I'm just gonna put it out there and say you don't want to attack me. I think you don't want to attack me in an empty room on the outside of the ship either, but hey, you know, that's just my, my philosophy on things. I want them to go into the med bay, actually. That's better than being in the room off to the side. I can just do this. I'm going to cloak out of their shots. That's not a big worry. We will do a lot of damage to them if we can. Attack their med bay, weapons. Med bay and weapons. Might as well cloak as much as we can. There we go, 100%. I must have cloaked bef- I, m I must have missed- missed up. Missed up? Messed up there. I must have cloaked before I actually fired the weapons, which is bad of me, but that's okay. They can't do anything to me anyways. With only a single shot laser, two of their crew members are dead. Medbay doesn't need to be powered up anymore. We can mind control them. Not sure how necessary that is at this moment. Now that their weapons are offline, I don't need the dodge chance. Now I can mind control. Go back to your rooms, power up the oxygen. Start some more fires, like so. Start in the piloting room, oxygen room. Trying to run past the uh, the fire and it's not working. Zin Zin. Ooh, and he locked himself into the shield room. If I can start a fire under him, that's good. You're not gonna get out of there. You're not gonna get out of there. Oh, you're you're dead. We get 69 scrap plus a 57. That's 82 plus 68. Holy hell. That is a fully upgraded ship. The only thing we do not have is the backup battery. Holy cow. I don't need half of these upgrades, but I'm glad that we have them. Just, just to say that we have them. Just to say. Now, we do not need to worry about mind control, but what I will do is kind of position my crew around the sh my ship so that they don't hurt each other. I don't want to have to micro them to the med bay. We only need mind control powered up to level one. Could use the whole laser, but I still think the fire beams is a good choice because when it lands, its shots will light the ship on fire and they only have two crew members remaining. Mind controlled us, counter, counter the mind control, they're gonna board us. Oh goody. In the med bay. Yo, that's like, I just fought a ship that tried that and it didn't work out well for them. You might want to reconsider. Okay, it's going to take a couple of uh, shots before we can actually take out that super shield. It's going to be a little bit annoying. I'm just going to use a five second hack. They're not power surging, so I'm just going to dodge the missiles. You can stay in the mid bay, actually. Okay, fire beam. Burst lasers. I could have probably dodged the power surge had I... Uh, had I done a longer cloak? That's okay. I think we can dodge the cloak just by having a high dodge chance. We have 51%. It's pretty good. And as soon as the first shot hits the shields, we take that power and we divert it back into engines. There we go. A little bit of micro there. Okay, their shields are hacked. Let's get those shields down. Won't be able to cloak out of the next missile shot. That's okay because those missiles will go down in a second. Let's get our dodge chance up to 55%. Two missiles are gonna land. That's not bad. That's the only damage we've taken on the entire Rebel Flagship phase, A, B, or C. And now... It's still online, so we gotta take it out. So all three burst lasers, unfortunately, will have to go in on the missile launcher, that's okay, because I can still start fires in the shield room. It's still not offline! Holy cow! I messed something up here, because that should not have happened. Keep the fire going. We only need uh, mind control level one. There we 
we go. We're gonna be attacked, so we gotta get everything powered up. In fact, we might be able to cloak out of the missiles. I wanna cloak out of the missiles, come on. You know what, I'm just gonna cloak right now. Five seconds. Yeah, I knew we would be able to take out the uh, missile launcher with our shots, so I didn't worry about it. I'm glad I didn't. Okay, you guys get healed up, please. Divert that power into oxygen and med bay. Fire beam's ready to go in a second. All their crew is dead, AI's taken over. Oh, but unfortunately the AI can't put out fires. <laughs> ah, lovely. Don't need the hack power anymore. Let's dump that into shields. Don't need them. Ah, we do need the mind. No, we don't need the mind control. It's on fire. Ha ha ha. Ah. Okay. Well. Yeah, you're not gonna. You're not gonna hurt me. What a run. What a run. This. What a run. This is like the best run that we've had. Super lucky RNG on picking up free weapons, including three burst laser mark twos, which is ridiculous. Managed to finally get the achievement because of just such good luck on those sectors, but and wow, 6800 score too. That's really good. We weren't even really trying for a score. I think definitely getting the uh, anti-bio beam killing crew attributed to having such a high score, but there it is. Clash of the Titans completed. I don't know how many ships we killed. I assume it's 15. I've heard reports that sometimes it takes more than that. Maybe it's a little bit buggy, but maybe that has been fixed in previous patches to FTL. Let's take a look at the hangar here. Everything in the game has been completed on hard. There we go. That is FTL on hard. This is how long it takes to complete FTL on hard. 74 runs, I think. 74 episodes. I think is the final tally and actually you know what it took 75 because one of the achievements I tried to do off camera and I thought it would take like hours and hours of resetting the game but it only took like five minutes which one was it it was it was sweet revenge wasn't it destroy an enemy ship with a shard from the crystal vengeance augment surprisingly it didn't take very long and I thought it would take a whole lot longer like I thought that those Crystal Shards maybe had a chance to miss. Maybe they didn't pierce shields or something. But in actuality, I did it in like 10 minutes and I just included that in the video. I said, hey, I tried to do this achievement off camera. Well, I recorded it, but I tried to do it not in an episodic format just because it, uh, I thought it would have been really annoying to do just because it's a lot of restarting trying to get the, uh, the achievement. You're, you're never going to get this during the run. You're going to do this at the beginning you will restart, make a jump. If there's a ship, fight it. If it's not a ship, restart and make a jump. And you're just going to try to do that over and over again. Just like the um, Battle Royale, you're never going to want your crew members to die. But Battle Royale pretty much requires that to happen. Same thing with... Um, I was going to say, is it warm in here? But that's not true. I guess it's just Battle Royale. Maybe, maybe not. Whatever. You know what? I had a fun time with FTL. I'm going to keep playing this occasionally, but I've got to find another game to play. And if anyone has any recommendations, make a comment or send me a message and I will take your suggestion into consideration. I've also got a couple of potential projects coming up that might be fun to put on the channel. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's take a moment here and thank everyone for watching me stumble around in FTL. I had a fun time playing it and I hope you had a fun time watching. Let me know what you thought of FTL and I hope, well, let me, let me try this again, okay? Let me, let me, let me try this again. This is a, this is an awkward ending because it's the end of the, the achievement hunting portion of FTL. So let me try to get my, uh, my outro correct here. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content in general as I make it and I hope to see you here on the channel again for future games for future runs of FTL because I'll be coming back to it at some point and thank you very much for watching